In this video, we're going to focus on a very advanced topic, as you can see here, which is the drill down bar chart. You can click on this, you can go back here, you can see here, it shows it as well. This is all done in the canvas. As you can see, we're not using anything else except the canvas. Here, we can click on these bars here, go back here, click here, and pay attention to the mouse. The mouse, will, you can see here, it converts the cursor the moment it is clickable. If I click on it, it will convert it. And here you can see here now, every time we go on the bar, it's converting as well. However, now, this bar, it won't convert anymore because we cannot click or go deeper into the drill down of the bar chart so we can go, go here and click this and do all kind of things so this is very advanced here really. this is a whole series being dedicated to this advanced item here so let's explore how to do this in this video we're going to create an advanced drill down bar chart in chart.js and this is what we call the advanced series so there will be a certain assumption i do expect you to know certain topics and if you don't know them i will have video references in the comment section I pinned them that you can use as reference to understand that more all right so to do this first of all we're going to have our default data structure here and if you don't know about data structures please watch that specific video below in the comment section I will explain it all and if you want to grab this data structure I will also put that pinned in the comment section so you can grab it there immediately all right so we have this here because this will be used in here and basically what it does is a breakdown of three browsers chrome with their colors how many users and market share and etc etc with the versions what pe how many people are using certain versions you can see here this is firefox and this is safari so of course this data is just fictional so we're going to use this fictional data and to create our bar chart right now so to do this what i need here is i need to go to charges three dot com getting started and if you might see this here on google chrome i get this error anyway we need to copy here the default code so i'm going to scroll down here copy this default code here if you want to understand what this code does please watch this video that explains the javascript of that code so then what i'm going to do here i'm going to paste all of this and once i paste that i will cut out this one here put it in there and next i will just copy all of this code here which is a constant as well and just put it here above so once I did this what I want to do is I want to save this first and refresh all right this works and now what I want to do now is I want to start to match this here so we're going to use here basically the parsing to parse the data structures in here however the colors here to make it easy I just use a quick way to do it of course we can do an advanced way but for that I will not bother too much about the colors uh, so what I will do here just for the sake of it uh, let's see here data browser all right so we just grab the object value here and then we get here the color value see here and then we paste that here what I want to do of course this is the zero array comma comma and paste all right so one and two fair enough so what I will do is exactly the same here for the border color. So I will just make them identical. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see here now the colors are matched. And of course they're being looped in a sequence, which is a default in chart.js. What I want to do next is eventually is getting these values here. And well, we can just make this quickly then. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what we're going to do is the following. So we're going to grab here the user values and here of course the browser value for the labels but these labels here will not be used and the data here will be basically different from this item here what we can do is just a reference to this data browser or browser data and then here we can now start to use here maybe a market share and then of browsers Save that refresh all right that changes here but of course we break a bit because of this so now we go in here then in here we're going to say parsing it is basically related to data structures and then in there we're going to say x axis key and the x axis key will be what exactly well in our case well let's see this should be directly re related to the browser itself that is this one here why 
because this is the value for the labels. And then we have the other one here. We'll copy that. Put in here, then we say y x is key. And then here, this will be, let's see, what do we want to grab here? We can get the users or market share. Maybe market share might make more sense for us now. So if I save this now and refresh, there we are. All right, so now we have this working. What we want to do, of course, next is start to have a clickable effect here on our bars. So that will be the next video.